One possible safety net might be the location of alternate overwintering sites, which we think exist and have gone out on snow machines during the winter to try and find these locations. And we did run into one location where there was a spring and the water had not frozen solid during the winter and there were actually fish there. So if there are a lot of these locations, then that would suggest that perhaps that could be a safety net in climate change where they can't get to their overwintering site. Perhaps some grayling would survive in these pockets of unfrozen water. <laughs>